In the past, young voters are notorious for skipping elections. It's a problem voting advocates have tried solving for decades. And this year, they had a big uphill battle mobilizing future voters virtually. Mana Brandeis explains the new strategies with only hours left. In a year defined by change. Pre-pandemic, you and I would be interviewing in an event that we're hosting in this uh, beautiful student union of ours. It's no surprise the heart of campus is almost unrecognizable. And we would have candidates talking to students, meeting students. But rather than a buzzing home base for civic engagement, students are seated sparsely, working quietly behind masks. That community engagement aspect is what's been changed a little bit. Looking at that and trying to figure out the best way that we can translate that into a digital format has not been easy. Armando Sepulveda II is leading his school's effort to register as many students to vote as possible and up against a deadline. We were going into the dark because we didn't have any pre-context on how we can handle a Rock the Vote campaign during a pandemic. They couldn't hold large gatherings to register students to vote or hold candidate debates in large auditoriums. On-campus posters were replaced with posts online. Social media was a great platform to get apathetic students because regardless of what they're doing in the day, they're probably going to log on to Instagram at least once or twice. To keep students from scrolling past their message, they focused on design. We wanted to make it as simple and visually interesting as possible because the more we make it digestible, the more people we're going to reach out to. They replace campus walk arounds with Zoom arounds, crashing club meetings to discuss propositions, how to get your ballot, and making sure it's counted. Pre dental society, the pre law society, um, women in STEM, women in business. They also held community forums online with local candidates. I think a lot of young people want to have a renewed sense in trust in the government. But in order to have that, you have to have people that you trust elected. They surpassed their goal of registering 1,400 students to vote. And now it's up to them to exercise that right. In San Diego, I'm Amanda Brandeis reporting.